Okay, so let's find all the composition series of D6. I think D6 is good. It's like not too big to make it onerous. Mm -hmm. And it's not like so small that it's trivial and it's not abelian. Is that your favorite dihedral group? No, not What's necessarily. Your What's your favorite? I don't think, I mean. <laughs> favorite shape? Everyone's got one. I don't know, D infinity. There we go. Does that exist? Yeah. It does. That's what's blind. I guess. It's a circle. I guess so. <laughs> it's a circle. No. Well. All right. Actually, is it? Yes. No, it's not. Well, you had more. Here's an aside. <laughs> this is something we may or may not like look at a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna get this slightly wrong, but not very wrong. Okay. D n is isomorphic to Z two. Not cross Zn. Uh, I gotta remember how this goes. Semi-direct product Zn. This thing called the semi-direct product. Well, there's another thing called the wreath product where you complete those things. So this is Z2 semi-direct product Zn. This is like the cross product, the Cartesian product, but the multiplication is twisted in a way so that it's not commutative. Oh. Okay. Like. It's like twist. It's like, I mean, technically, what you have is you've got a homomorphism. It, it's gonna get. It's gonna. It's a lot. You get. You got a homomorphism from Z two to the automorphism group of Z n. Okay. And you use that homomorphism from Z2 to the automorphism group of Zn to twist the multiplication inside of the, this product uh, with whatever, wherever the element goes to in that homomorphism to the automorphism group. Yeah. So uh, Dn is that semi-direct product. But now, like, it's kind of obvious to do this once you have maybe just even set it equal to z2 uh, semi-direct product z. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, you can think of as like some sort of limit of dn, right? Yeah, but that's why I thought it would be a circle. Like, as you're you're so close, you know, you're so close to that, yeah. right? Um, now, the symmetry group, of the circle, we'll call it S1, okay, is O2. Because it's like a two-dimensional. Yeah, it's like, you know, O2 is like rotation matrices, right? And, reflect, and some reflections, too. So this is the orthogonal group, the two-by-two two matrices where the transpose is equal to the inverse, right? So that's, that, that's what this is. So this is... A and GL to R, where A transpose A is the identity. That's the orthogonal group. Now, D infinity is most definitely a subgroup of O2. But it's not the whole subgroup. But um, it's a dense subgroup. You might say dense in what? way the way that we're learning in topology really yeah dense the word <clears throat> like if you so o2 mm -hmm. can be thought of as a topological space mm -hmm. right it is some sort of like topological space in some four dimensional real space right mm -hmm. all right it's a surface in fact it's actually not a surface it's two surfaces i forget we know it's two surfaces because the determinant is either plus or minus one in O2. So the transpose being equal to the inverse means that the determinant is equal to the reciprocal of the determinant. That happens when the determinant is one or negative one. Okay, so the determinant could be one or negative one, but like it can't be anything between one and negative one, right? Mm -hmm. But that means that there's no path in the orthogonal group from uh, determinant one to determinant negative one. They're disconnected components. So they're regular? No, they're 
Yeah, I mean, that's no. that's sort of kind of different. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not. Trying to yeah, no, no, no. That's kind of different. Just... No, there. It's a disconnected space. Okay. okay. <sighs> um, but anyway, d infinity. If you think about O2 like the real numbers, right? Yeah. Which it's not. But if you think of it like the real numbers, d infinity would be like the rational numbers. It's that kind of density. Oh, oh, so you're saying the d infinity, I would think d infinity is a circle. You're showing me that it's not a circle, it's a subgroup of the circle. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's essentially everything. Right? It's essentially everything because it's, because it's dense. Yeah. No, 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 we have that. Oh, what we're missing. we're missing is that it's dense in the circle group. It's not the whole circle. Oh, 